Material things are so nice <laughs> to have. So believe me, I'm thankful for what I got. But if it came down to choosing between them and you, I'd leave them all. Who's that? <laughs> Give a shout out to the emotions this morning. Cause I love y'all know that shit. Good morning to you. Good afternoon. Good evening. And welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Lord have mercy, y'all. Y'all know, um, no, on a serious note, I am really, really concerned about uh, these schools uh, so-called opening up. Fortunately, where I am right now and my grandbaby, uh, they are having right now for some of the older grades uh, virtual I believe, classroom still. And I think, or they're either either they're going to phase to an outdoor classroom first and then phase it to the uh, virtual class or vice versa. And I'm pretty sure I said it right the first time. However, I am very skeptical uh, about my granny baby going to back to school. I mean, and so many other uh, grandparents that I know and so many other parents, you know, because it seems like they are using us as a test, um, you know, a, just a, 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 a test proof a t that to find out what will happen and how long. So I think that they should get a grip on the virus first. And then after they get a grip on the virus, then they should think about uh, opening up the schools. You know, other than that, in my opinion, it's uh, too premature. Very premature to be doing something like that when talking about our babies. Because th that's who's going to be affected. Okay? Um, and, uh, uh, okay. Oh my God. I just wanted to. I hope y'all all stay um, safe. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I don't got coronavirus. Um, amid this coronavirus. Now. <coughs> However, this particular article is so damn crazy that I thought I'd share it with y'all. Oh, Lord. Bear with me. Bear with me one second because I just did something I didn't mean to do. Okay, here you go. Okay. Y'all ready? In case y'all want to know what's in my illustrious cup this morning, I have uh, juiced up a bunch of mixed fruit, blueberries, apples, lemon, strawberry, banana, and um, yeah, that's what this is. Y'all, fugitive, a fugitive. Chinese biologist who lied about her links to the military is taken into U.S. custody after Beijing harbored her inside their San Francisco consulate. Wan Tang, 37, was arrested and taken into custody in Sacramento County. 
She's accused of lying about military links on a visa application to work in the United States of America. Tang is one of four scientists living in the U.S. accused of lying. The allegations came as U.S.-China relations continued to deteriorate. China's consulate in Houston was shut down on Friday on orders of uh, the U.S. authorities. Yeah. It's just a ball of confusion. <laughs> All right. This Chinese researcher is accused of concealing her ties to the Chinese military on her visa application. She submitted so she could work in the U.S. Okay, so she was arrested and she was booked Friday into a Northern California jail and was expected to appear in federal court on Monday. The Justice Department on Thursday announced the charges against Tang and three other scientists living in the U.S., saying they lied about their status as members of the Chinese People's Liberation, and um, all of them was charged with fraud. Tang was the last of the four to be arrested after the Justice Department accused the Chinese consulate in San Francisco of harboring a well-known fugitive. The consulate did not immediately respond to email and Facebook messages seeking comment and it was not possible to leave a telephone message. What the hell is really going on? <laughs> what the hell is going on? Catfish, she's just all alone. All right, the Justice Department said Tang lied about her military ties in a visa application last October as she made plans to work at UCLA, um, um, Davis. And again, during an FBI interview a few months later. Well, the agents found photos of Tang dressed in military uniform and reviewed articles in China identifying her as military affiliation. We ain't gonna never get rid of this coronavirus. You know, tell them what, what, where this... Uh, let me stop. All right. University of California, Davis said Tang left her job as visiting researcher in the Department of Radiation Oncology in June. Her work was funded by a study-based exchange program affiliated with China's Ministry of Education. That's what the university said. Agents said they believe Tang sought refuge in the consulate after they interviewed her at her home in Davis on June 20th. The FBI has been interviewing visa holders in more than 25 American cities suspected of hiding their ties to the uh, fr uh, to the, from the Chinese military to the Chinese military. The allegations came as U.S.-China relations continue to deteriorate, particularly over allegations of Chinese theft of U.S. intellectual property. Okay, so we got Putin and the Taliban putting uh, a bounty on U.S. soldiers' heads. We got these shenanigans with these spies over here um, posing as researchers, and they really some paramilitary operator or part of a military operation. And um, y'all got the nerve, the nerve as America, as the elite, as the government of these United States, be trying to steal keep racial shit and separation and division alive and well. I mean, y'all really still think y'all want to go down with that when you know the wealth gap is so big 
that we can't go on like this. So we got to fight. We got to fight you. Okay. For this piece of the pie that y'all trying to actually kill us and our babies. And we're not going to do that because the first law of nature is self-preservation. So now we realize how serious it really is because we have the data. Shout out to Yvette Carnell and Sandy Darity and uh, Antonio Moore. We really do have the data. And they, all the ADOS family. My point I'm trying to make, y'all, is we don't have to worry about none of that. Because, you know, although it's a cause I fight for, I just feel that there's a scripture that talks about the uh, the king telling the two women that since they were arguing over a baby, because when they were asleep at night, the baby died and they both had newborns. I know y'all remember the story, those of y'all. I can't think of it, uh, the, the verse right now, but to paraphrase, they went to see the king because... This lady said, look, that's my baby. And when I was asleep at night, her baby must have died. She got up and stole my baby and act like it's hers. That's my baby. And well, the other mama was like, no, y'all know the story. And the king said, well, let's split the baby in half. So guess what? That's what I feel about America. At this point, and it's karma. I don't have a lot of faith in America. I, I used to be very optimistic. And now I'm I'm not. It's just too much. Now you got agents over here from China. Now you got agents over here from Russia. You, the country is we don't have to worry about it being destroyed from without. It's gonna be destroyed from within. You got hatred all around the place. Everybody hating on everybody and you hating on us because we're black. And we don't want to take your oppression anymore. We're tired of being cut out. We're tired of not having anything. And so because we're expressing that sentiment to y'all, we y'all want to uh, uh, bust our heads. Well, that day is over. So now you got this going on. And instead of y'all understanding what's going on so we can be stronger as a country to fight outside forces, because these states are supposed to be united. Y'all asses are still running them up. Still in people's intellectual properties. Y'all do the same thing. You do it to all the black artists. Still they intellectual property. You do, you know, so this is like the same. It's the karma we put out is coming back. So what is going to be America? Today, you have... Um, a group of what well, it's the uh, N A N F A C coalition. Well, N F A C showing up because we need justice for Breonna Taylor, and we don't want to let that name go to sleep because white girls ain't getting killed like this. They're not getting shot down in their homes like some kind of damn video game. So we got to keep pressing. We can't let go. We can't. And if the children of John Brown are out there in spirit, I respect them. I honor them. Okay? Because anybody else, oh my God, anybody else Is detrimental to America. Anybody else is going to be the catalyst and the help of bringing all of us down. Right? So, I mean, China's consulate was shut down in Houston on Friday on the orders of authority after Washington accused Chinese agents of trying to steal medical and other research in Texas. We confirmed that the uh, PRC consulate gen in, <clears throat> general in Houston is closed. State Department spokesman confirmed late Friday. The spokesman spoke on condition of anonymity uh, um, um, and stated 
because they weren't authorized to comment publicly. In response, China on Friday ordered U.S. to close this consulate in the city of Chengdu and get the fuck on. All right. That's what's happening in our country, y'all. That's what's happening. <laughs> so with that being said, I don't know no terrorists coming from the outside coming in. All the terrorists that I know is taking place all on the soil of American ground. So <laughs> with that being said, y'all, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, share the video, like the video. Um, it don't cost you nothing. Just hit a like sign and, um, you know, and that's if you agree with me. If you don't, they got another option up there too. Thank you, and y'all have a good day.